Hello guys. I'm back. Hello guys. I'm back. I hope everyone is well and safe. How's everything? So we are now in Earth and Life Science Module 3 about minerals for quarter 1. So without further ado, let's start now. After going through this module, you are expected to identify the example of minerals, explain the different characteristic of minerals, differentiate minerals based on their properties, and develop awareness on the importance of minerals around us. What are minerals? A mineral is naturally occurring, solid, in organic substance that has definite chemical composition and structure. Naturally occurring means not produced artificially. Inorganic means that it, it does not contain carbon from a living source. And also class take note that minerals have orderly internal structure and have defined a set of physical properties. Again class, what are minerals? Minerals are building blocks of rocks. Mineralogists use criteria to determine whether a material is classified as a mineral or not. Yes, and now let's move on to the characteristics of minerals. The first one, it is naturally occurring. The second one, it is organic. And the third one, it is homogeneous solid. And it has a definite chemical composition. And the last one, it has an orderly crystalline structure. When we talk about naturally occurring, means a product of Earth's natural process. While inorganic, it must be product of Earth's physical process. Homogeneous solid means the mineral should have definite volume and rigid shape. Yes, it has a definite chemical composition represented by a chemical formula. And lastly, it has an orderly crystalline structure that the atoms of minerals are arranged in an orderly repeating pattern. Simple as that. And now let's move on to the properties of minerals. The first one we have color. Easy to see but at least reliable property for ID. Means many different minerals are same color. Example the calcite, quartz, and dolomite. Same minerals can come in many colors. Example the quartz can be pink, white, clear, purple, and yellow. The second one we have luster. Luster is the way light is reflected from the surface of the mineral. It is the way a mineral shines or doesn't shine. Take note class, minerals can have metallic or non-metallic luster. Example of this is hematite, occurs in both metallic and non-metallic varieties. And the third one we have streak is color of the mineral in a powder form. Again class, take note. Streak is the color of mineral in a powder form. It is tested by rubbing a metallic mineral across piece of unglazed porcelain called a streak plate. We have hematite has a reddish brown streak whether the sample is metallic or non-metallic in appearance. The fourth one we have cleavage. Simply mineral splits along flat surfaces can cleave in a one, two, or three directions. Again, cleavage refers to mineral splits along flat surfaces. And the fifth one we have fracture mineral breaks along non cleavage surfaces. It has rough edges and also it has a con 
Coidal fracture, smoothly curved like inside of a shell. Again, fracture refers to mineral breaks along non cleavage surfaces. And the sixth one we have hardness. It talks about the mineral's resistance to scratching. Most scales of hardness, diamond is the hardest with scale of 10. First, the talc. Second, gypsum. Third, calcite. Fourth, fluorite. Fifth, apatite. Sixth, orthoclase. Seven, quartz. Eight, topaz. Nine, corundum. And ten, diamond. Next, we have crystals. Another properties of minerals. Crystals or the crystalline structure. Not all minerals show crystals. When minerals do show crystals, they have a characteristic shape. That's it. Simple as that. We have also the alpinity or the amount of transparency. We are talking about here ability to allow light to pass. So we are talking about the transparency of light. And the last one, we have tenacity. It describes the mineral's reaction to stress. The first one, we have brittleness. A mineral turns into powder. Again, brittleness refers to a mineral turns into powder. Also, we have malleability. A mineral can be flattened by pounding a hammer. And that is what we so-called malleability. And the third one, we have ductility, wherein a mineral can be stretched into wire, and that is what we circle ductility. The fourth one, we have flexible but inelastic. Minerals are bent, but they remain in the new position, and that is flexible but inelastic. Flexible and elastic, yes, minerals are bent can be bent and they bring back to their original position and that is flexible and elastic and the last one it is sectility sectility refers to ability of minerals to be sliced by a knife again sectility refers to ability of minerals to be sliced by a knife and now let's have first an activity give products that contain mineral the first one we have diamond we have speaker domes heat sinks and the common is diamond trip tools this diamond tip tools that are used to cut metals and glass the second one we have current dome we have also sandpapers and Grinding wheels that are made of corundum. And the third one, we have two pass. Example of this is jewelry, such as earrings, rings. And the fourth one, we have quartz. Example of these products are quartz lamps, heaters, optical quartz, and quartz lab wear. And the last one, we have the orthoclase. Example of this is glass, then the ceramic tiles, porcelain, and dinnerware. And now let's have another activity. Identify other properties exhibited by the minerals. Choose your answer from the given choices. We have brittleness, malleability, ductility, luster, and sectility. Number one. All true minerals can be drawn into wires. The correct answer is yes. The answer is ductility. Number two. And number two, overall chain of mineral. That is yes, that is luster. The third one. Number three, a mineral can be hammered and flattened. Example of this is ring, jewelry. The correct answer is malleability. Number four, a mineral can be cut by a knife. The correct answer is sectility. 
And the last one, number five. A mineral can be turned into powder. What is the correct answer? Yes, the correct answer is brittleness. Again, class, we have another activity. Fill in the blanks. Identify the permanent properties exhibited by the following minerals. Fill in the blanks to form appropriate term that best fits the described mineral property. The first one, we have a manner by which mineral reflects light. We have pyrite, aka also known as a false gold. The correct answer is luster. Number two, we have a color of mineral in powdered form. Example, the hematite, both types leave the same powder. The correct answer is streak. And the third one, we have tendency of mineral to break along flat surfaces. Example, the mica crystal can be peeled like layers of onion. The correct answer is cleavage. And number four, we have the manor bricks other than along planes of cleavage. Example, quartz create smooth and curved surfaces. The correct answer is, yes, that is fracture. And the last one we have, number five, resistance of mineral to scratching, and it is the most commonly used property for identifying minerals. The correct answer is, all right, we have the example, diamond has a scale of 10, and that is hardness. All right, in matching type, we have column A, most hardness scale, and number two, sectility, number three, streak, number four, crystal, and number five, tenacity. In column B, we have A, describe the mineral reaction to stress, B, true color of mineral, C, a ranking of mineral form, softest, hardest, D, ability to mineral to be cut by a knife. And the last one, E, repeating pattern in minerals in a solid. In number one, most hardness scales, it is refers to the ranking of mineral from softest hardest. The correct answer for number one is letter C. And number two, sectility, it is refers to ability of mineral to be cut by a knife. And that is letter D. Letter D for number two. And number three for streak. We have true color, true color of mineral. The correct answer for number three, we have B. Streak refers to the true color of mineral. And number four, for crystal, the correct answer is letter E. Repeating pattern in minerals in solid. And that is, refers to the crystal. And number five, for tenacity, the correct answer is None other than letter A. It describes a mineral reaction to stress. Again, number five for tenacity is the, cor the correct answer is letter A. And for the C part, upon knowing the value of minerals in our everyday life, as a students, how can you help in conserving and preserving the natural sources of these minerals? For example, graphite is a mineral found in pencil. So you have to expand your answer. For example, we must be responsible. Use of minerals in planned and sustainable manner through recycling of metals or use alternatives, renewable resources, or based on your experience.